exactly in the back. The photo, look at the image. That's me holding the blood samples in my hand, projecting them in the screen to just observe the components of the blood. Taking more than 56 test tubes out from my own body, just with a single motive to experiment. Left over with my own fantasies, I would spell all my time in experimentation, seeking out solutions for daily life problems, rearing them, cold calling people, convincing them all about my pivotal role in sustainable development, convincing them all about how I'm making sure bring the most disruptive technologies in the market. Develop innovative means to deliver best prototypes to date ever. Here I am. I also gave up my career once because I was convinced that if I clear subjective exams of the school, I'll be enabled to be settled. That's a huge word, settled. And now I tag myself lucky enough to come across a book at a young age named as Underage CEOs. I got super fascinated after getting to know the word of entrepreneur. And when at a young tender age, you come through a, such a fascinated word, you finally achieve it. I kind of allowed myself to valued for the self-pity and I must admit it. But the very important lesson after that I get in my hand is everyone may not get that lucky that I got to be that enough to follow their passion and also for the full time. Well, I am Aditya Singh, I am 17 and I innovate things. So allow me a moment to share you with some strategies with you especially if you're caught within a dilemma to follow your passion or on the other hand, ensure your pension for the time to come. So I'll start with never take a job that curts down you from the audience you're meant to impact. It was early December of last year. I got an cold invitation from Novartis Healthcare, Hyderabad. And on the meantime, I was running with my pre-board exams. Getting an invitation to be a keynote speaker in a corporate offsite event, it sounds simple, but it was not. Just a week back, I gave my words to my school principal that I'll be appearing for all the pre-board exams. Just for the fact that I did not write any exams in the previous academic year, just because of my travels and competition schedules. That was a kind of diplomatic situation. I was not having any solution in hand and I ended up with talking with my principal. Calling myself as an entrepreneur, it will be shameful for me if after giving words, I ditched the words. So I ended up talking with my principal and convinced him anyhow to leave the exam early because the day I was having the speaking event, I had my physics pre-board exam also. The exam was from 10.30 to 1.30 and the speaking event was supposed to get started by 4 in the evening and I was supposed to catch a flight of 1.30. Anyhow, I convinced him that I leave the exam early by 12 and rush to, to the airport and catch a flight. The first thing that came out of the principal's mouth was, Aditya, this is pretty impractical and this is not possible. And without thinking anything, the next reply I gave was, so please, with all due respect, don't tell me that it's not possible Tell me how it is possible to make it sound more positive. And that's how I also gave my pre-board exam just for the sake of formality, just for the sake of my words and did not disappoint my audience who were waiting at that keynote speaking event. Next I start with make the money you want and fund your interest accordingly. During my initial days, I used my passion to earn money. I participated in various competition especially the ones who fetch me cash prizes and try to seek opportunities from corporate companies to invite me as a speaker just for the sake that I'll be getting some honorarium from them. I got the money in hand. I invested those that money for R&D of my prototypes, my travel and obviously another fantasy I had, tasting weird alcohols and wines at a young age. The very next thing, the very important when you come to balancing these two heavy words, passion and pension. 
figure out the adjacency between two things, what you do and what you exactly love to do. So a friend of mine, I met him in flight, developed an application which can help you help basically an individual judge whether you are getting paid for your job right or not. Just for the fact that he was in, in recruitment firms for the past couple of years, he used all that knowledge and came down to making an application which can help solve a purpose. And that's a great example how being in a job and also he pursued his passion of application development. In more simple words, a drab job, getting something great done. The very next thing, don't complain about the lack of time. I do believe like people complain about lack of time, but exactly they end up coming to lack of energy in the real sense. Having work and a stable job is really a blessing according to me. The main um, advantage you get here is you get to meet new people when you are into a job. To be frank, such random meetings with people helped me to pivot around ideas, to get thought drifts, especially in the field of Indian education system. And that's how I got a lot of insights too. The very next thing, let the boss know. This is the thing which I want to highlight the most. When you're in any of the firms, any organization, let the head know what you are exactly doing. Workplaces nowadays are super accommodating. They, they will be super mm, impressed if they get to know that you are doing at least a bit different thing and they will try to give you respect. There was a couple of incidents in my school life too where my principal sir would mention me in front of the inspection team uh, by taking some of my achievements in place and calling myself with my biggest strategy, Jugard Innovation, and calling me, see, he is the Jugardo kid. So letting your boss know is the best thing you can ever work out and have a good pay raise if you are in job too. The very next thing, nothing in life is final. You can always switch. You know the real beauty? There is only one constant, the change. I want everyone to design a strategic plan. People think that they cannot step in two boats, they cannot cast two rabbits, but it, it's all the state of mind. Designing a strategic plan with a unique approach, I give it as interest, money, and then interest. Keep your interest alive, find an option to earn money, keep yourself financially balanced, and the moment you see an opportunity, get back to that interest. Invest all the money you had from your earning source and get the task done. But take a financial planning as a backup also. Never do professional harakiri. My teacher in my initial classes told me two things. Haste makes waste, hurry makes curry. So in such things, never do hurry bari. Not always you need a push. There are situations in life where I can give you a fancy title of oh freaking idea. There are situations in life when even if you hit your legs, hit your hands, nothing is gonna work out. So it's basically like not always you need to push an accelerator of the car when you know that the car is descending from the top of the hill. So there's only one thing you can do. You can sit back, smile and relax and let things happen. Destiny will get everything fine. The very last and amazing thing which I learned from my life till date is from climbing stairs in my flats to passing my destinations. Basically taking all those things in my bucket list till now. You know what? There was a time when I used to stay in a fourth floor and the moment I climbed the stairs, there was no lift. I used to climb the stairs the moment I came to the second floor. I would be like, Aditya, this, you need to do this exact the same efforts you did and you will reach your destination. There were also some times uh, during day when I never thought, I never gave a glance on the number plate 
because my full attention was over climbing stairs, but I would get lost in my own thoughts. Figuring out the fact that I never gave a glance on the number plate of the floor, there were some times that I ended up being on the fifth floor instead of um, my home being on the fourth floor. You know what really is? Our mind plays such tricks with us. When we remind it of a goal, what our mind does is, it tells us like, you need to give these many extra efforts or invest this much time in order to make sure that you reach that goal. During a period of time, I have realized that keeping goals is really limiting, limiting your psychological levels. Just for the fact that if you tell your mind that, for example, my goal is 2.0, then if you reach 2.0, then you will be awesome. But if you don't, you'll be a loser in front, in front of your own psychological level. According to me, life is supposed to have just a simple motto, keep on climbing, keep on moving, keep on walking towards that destination. There will be a time when you will wonder that you have already arrived to the destination or there will be chances that you, you will pass through that destination that you have never even thought of. Just for the fact that you did not pay attention to that floor number plate. That's it for my time. Thank you for hearing me out. Signing off. See you and founder GRSA Kidunya. Jai Hind. Jai Jugaad.